Sagittarius, it is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your February 2019 reading. Now this is for sun, moon, and rising. So if this doesn't quite resonate with your sun, if Sag is your sun, um, do check out your moon and your rising. Okay, if your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Frequent flyers, welcome aboard again. And let's get into your reading. Your overall... Uh, energy for this month. I have the Six of Swords, so there could potentially be travel involved. I do see you walking away from some things. Sag, um, this has been a very powerful, this, la this last month or two, um, as Jupiter's come home, has been very, very powerful for you. Um, you're really walking away from things that just you recognizing, hey, this isn't working for me. This isn't right for me. Um, it's just causing too many problems in my world and I need to leave it alone. So I see that continuing. Um, the Queen of Cups as well. Being loving, nurturing, loving and nurturing to yourself. She's been showing up a lot in the general collective zodiac. Uh, and it's good. Like you're finally kind of taking some time to breathe and say, what's really the best for me? Sad you give so much to so many people and you brighten up people's lives and you really make us all like, you know, you get us, we have fun. We have a great time with you and you're very giving, right? And you know, you're really inspirational and everything and very supportive of other people. But I do see this month, you becoming much more supportive of yourself and it's about time. And also we have the Eight of Swords as well. Um, there's still some areas that you have kind of created your own cage in. You created your own trap. But I see with, with this overall energy, I believe you're going to start um, taking those keys and unlocking yourself. Like you're going to open your own door and realize, oh my gosh, why was I even in that, right? Why did I trap myself into this relationship? Why did I trap myself into this friendship? Why did I overcommit myself to getting some things done for some people? Um, and you're just going to kind of take that and kind of go back, like take it back. And then finally, we also do have the star seed card, which in the, which in the star child tarot deck is the fool. So I do see new adventures for you um, coming up here in February. Now, the first week in February, we have the king of crystals, which is the king of pentacles. Great card for you. Uh, about your money, the first week of February, new jobs, promotions, new opportunities. Okay, if you're uh, somewhat of an entrepreneur, um, new opportunities. You got a side hustle. I see that side hustle like first week of February kind of really um, getting going. We also have the Eight of Wands and the Tower card. So definitely forward movement. This is this this new thing, you know, the promotion or just kind of like the side hustle, your passion. Um, you're finally moving into the Tower moment for you is not a bad Tower moment. I never really look at Tower moments bad, as bad anyway. It's a necessary shifting, a necessary change. You're not resisting this change. You're not resisting the movement finally. And it's going to be abundant and lucrative for you in the natural as far as monetary gain and just kind of stability within the household itself. The second week, watch out a little bit. We've got the five of wands. So let's see what we're in conflict over, Sag. What's going on with this conflict in the second week of... February. I'm getting the sense that it could be somebody coming back from your past. Um, it's going to be quick and fleeting with the Knight of Wands. So this is right. Um, this isn't going to be a long lasting conflict. Um, you're going to be in communication about it. Like you're going to be able to communicate. Hey, dude, you're dude or do that. You are not. This is not for me. Okay. Th this ain't working. Yeah. Uh, somebody close to you with the Six of Cups and the Page of of Crystals. Um, potentially, I feel like your money has been tied to this person in some sort of way. Perhaps you thought you were going to work with them in a partnership, um, and that just didn't quite work because they were so flighty and they didn't respect you. They didn't honor you. They didn't communicate with you before, and now they all of a sudden want to come back and communicate with you now. And they're rushing in. It's like, you know, 
their crisis all of a sudden if their emergency is supposed to be your crisis don't let that happen but this is definitely somebody from the past and that you were pretty close to um that's what i'm seeing uh could be family as well um but i believe you've been close or are close to them and it, or it's been in the past you've been close to them um don't let them rush in and and get you off your square and it's going to feel like conflict, Sag, because you're standing up for yourself. Remember, the Queen of Cups, love of self, okay? Remember, the Six of Swords, walking away from stuff that no longer serves you. You're, you're not going to allow your pain to any longer be served by these people inflicting more pain. So I see a healing coming out of this conflict right around the second week of February third week of February, we have transformation, which is the death card in the standard tarot. Um, wow. Powerful. Ace of swords, new paradigm, paradigm shift that feeds back to that tower moment. This February is going to be really, really important for you. You know, with, um, Pisces coming in, we've got a full moon on February 19th ish, somewhere in that general area. Um, really the thought pattern shifting. Okay. The way you perceive the world, the way you perceive your world, the way you perceive your worth, the way you perceive your value. Yep. And it's going to um, create a great, huge, with the Ten of Crystals, level of abundance for you. What a powerful time. Like really allowing your true self to be born and to come out. How powerful is that? How powerful is that? All right, and then last but not least, the last week of February, the Nine of Swords. So let's see if that's meant to be upright or if it's meant to be, um, I should read this as, I don't really feel like there's a lot of worry. I think you have to be sure you're not, yeah. So with the Nine of Wands, be sure you don't allow, like this is a big shift for you, right? New thought patterns, new ways of, of communicating, new ways of looking at things, new ways of looking at yourself. A new found like, wow, this is amazing, right? I am amazing. And um, I do have the capability to be prosperous. I do have the capability to be abundant. I do have the capability of being full of life and really taking, like, I see you taking care of you finally and being like, oh my gosh, right? And being happy, like joyful, like in your purpose, rest, get a lot of rest the last week. Um, the, the universe, which is the world card, get a lot of rest, a lot of contemplation and meditation over what you have accomplished during the month, what spirit has done in you, what God has done in you, the work that he's done in you and the new perspective you have, the chapters turning. Remember we had the fool card as the overall energy, the chapter with the universe card, the world card, it's turn, it's closing. So you have everything at your fingertips and now you get to decide by the end of February what your new world looks like. You get to create your new world, the star seed, right? Create it, make it your most abundant life. Make it your best life. Emote and, 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 and feel and manifest from that place so deep down inside that's so, uh, that's complete, that I am energy. Emote from there, create from there, and watch how your world turns as we're coming into spring. What a beautiful month for you, Sag. I'm really excited for you. Um, that's what I have for you this month. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please consider liking and subscribing and sharing this video with others. Um, don't forget, um, there's some links down in the description box um, for the spiritual conference that I'm hosting right here in Madison, Wisconsin, March 8th through the 10th. It's propelling to purpose. So as you're going through your awakening process, come on, get your Reiki One attunement, um, Get some tools for self-healing, for energy healing, and others learning to set up that business. Um, talking more in depth about auras and aura healing, aura defense, all of that. Two packed days, right? So if you've been like looking for that motivation, like to grow your spiritual gifts and all that great stuff, if you've been looking for 
like the energy in a room to be ready to birth you and propel you into your purpose, this is for you. Click on that link, check out the landing page, get registered. I can't wait to see you there. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye.